A home security camera shows a couple sleeping inside their bedroom when something extremely creepy happens. On June 19 of 2022, user Chubby Gooby and her husband had caught- <laughs> Chubby Gooby? What? <laughs> I hear that right? ...footage of something that- 22, user Chubby Gooby and her husband <laughs> had caught footage of something that according to them, words cannot explain. Chubby writes, I feel incredibly uncomfortable posting this because I feel like it could be uncomfortable for many people, but I strongly feel it's important to show what has been happening in our home. Mm. It goes without saying, but this video has left them terrified. This is what they caught. Hello everyone, this is our experience on June 19th, 2022. I would like to thank you all for your continued support during this difficult time. Nah, bro. Nope. 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 Oh my god, no. Something's gonna peek out of there. Uh, some. Something about to peek out. Oh. No. Nah. I was fully asleep at this point, and I was trying to wake up. Bruh. Nah, dude. Was loud we were both half asleep at this point and I don't really remember what happened exactly I just heard a sound it wasn't until we watched the video bro nah it's almost as though something had entered the room mm -hmm. closed the door behind it and began to move things around the couple can't think of anything to explain this which is why they posted the video if you guys have see man that's why like me personally i believe things like that like there's so much more to life and things that you know beyond that we just have no idea about you know that we can't explain and that we are extremely uneducated on and i don't even know if there's a way to get educated on it because you know it's not like anyone can die for a while then come back and tell everyone what's happened and i just think that <clears throat> everything going on in life is so vast, you know, so vast, just such a way bigger picture than what we will ever understand until we're on the other side. And obviously stuff like this could be faked, but dude, there's way too many, way too many things that have happened and, you know, been caught on camera and all that kind of stuff. I believe stuff like this happens and occurs, and I don't think that everyone's crazy when they experience it. I've experienced things in my life many times, like when I was a teenager in this apartment we used to live in. I got some stories about that. I'll have to do like a whole another video on what I've experienced, but stuff like this is creepy, dude. And if it starts happening in, in your house and you have the means to get out, get out, dude, because it's probably nothing good. Um, explanation, like that's scientific to why these things are happening to us. That would actually put us at ease. Um, I have had a few experiences at my house before this one, but nothing to this extent. So, I don't know. I think it might be following me. Uh, Unfortunately. Yeah, the good old, the good old following. That's yeah, never any fun. Um, a quick thing, real quick. So if, if you know me, then you know that I do a lot to uh, cover Oregon artists and I kind of am starting this thing up where <clears throat> I'm focusing on, you know, doing reactions and little mini documentaries on the music scene in Oregon and the hip, you know, the hip hop community and all the artists that play a good role in it and whatnot. 
and I created a new channel. There's no videos on there yet, but I will be traveling to interview some of these artists and the interviews will go up on this new channel and also the who you should know videos will start going up on this new channel as well and the channel is called Oregon Wave um, it's this right here I will leave a link in the description to it so you can go subscribe to it if you are interested in seeing that content when it starts coming out but yeah, and I'll keep you all updated on that channel as well. And I'm also thinking about doing like, you know, news, you know, like shows and all that kind of stuff, just kind of covering what's going on musically in the hip hop community in Oregon and doing little segments on that channel as well. So if you're interested in that, head on over there. Link will be in the description. And uh, let's get back to this now. Posting the video has made them feel even more unsettled, as many viewers suggest that they should leave the house immediately. That's what I said. They believe that an it's evil demonic. presence has made itself known. Although it's not sure what exactly is haunting the couple, many believe that the house isn't safe to be in. But of course, what do you think? Yeah, what bro. What exactly is going on in this clip? They could easily be demonic. Be a definitive answer to this question. Number four. Jerry Bruce is a father who loves spending time with his children. If you hop over to his channel, you'll find that most of his videos have a wholesome quality to them. However, out of all the videos on there, two in particular stand out from the rest. These two videos are different in that they show something that doesn't fit with the family-friendly content of this channel. If anything, they seem to have come from a horror movie, one that is based on a family terrorized by paranormal activity. As it turns out though, that's exactly man i have a hard time when it comes to kids and creepy bad things happening because you know i got a one-year-old daughter and it just hits different man kids going through shit hits different when you got kids the case here jerry has been encountering strange occurrences in his home that seem to be paranormal in nature on may 26 of 2009 he is suddenly woken up by a strange noise inside his living room he immediately grabs his phone and begins to record Jerry writes, I have never seen anything like this. My wife and I were awakened by the sound of a door closing. This video is all I got before me and my family left the house. Oof. This is what he caught. Oh, I'm kind of freaked out, honestly. I'm already freaked out. <laughs> I'm already freaked out. I'm, I'm already freaked out, dude. Like, obviously the family left right after this, so it must have been bad. Ooh. Bro, no. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that moving? Bro, what? Is he gonna see anything or is that it? What? Strangely, the handle on the other side of the door is being turned as though someone inside were doing this. But, as shown in the video, no one is in there. An encounter like this would definitely spook anyone. But then again, there are some who might write this off as being caused by a draft entering the handle's lock. Dra no. Although it isn't sure if that's the case, it's the second video that seemingly dispels this notion. On July 11 of 2009, Jerry's recording his son Aww. All of a sudden, something really creepy happens. Oh, Take baby. A 
Bro, like, I'm telling you, things like this just bug me now, man. I just think of my daughter sitting there playing or something, and something's scaring her. I'm not thinking of my daughter being scared. Just, ugh, knots up my stomach, dude. I don't like it. So, look, it was just a cute little innocent boy chilling there playing and probably about to get terrified. Oh, I have such a hard time with that. Oh. Get the baby, get the baby. Oh. Please tell me you're holding your kid. The same closet from the first video can be seen opening on its own. Then, seconds later, the toy flips over by itself. It almost seems like whatever had been inside had tripped over this toy in its attempt to- I don't think it tripped. It's just knocking it out the way, coming for the kid or something, dude. I don't like that. Get to the child. It is immediately then that he grabs his son and rushes out of the living room at once. Understandably, Jerry was totally spooked. Viewers believe that he might be dealing with something paranormal. But, might be most videos, it's hard to be sure if that's so. Could it be that a supernatural presence resides in Jerry's closet? Well, yeah, dude, come on. Is something else going on here? You be the judge. Ugh, poor baby. An anonymous individual named S had broken into a house that is said to be haunted. The residents of the place no longer live on the property, as apparently they had gone missing. The husband and wife who lived here mysteriously disappeared. Mm. No one knows what happened to the couple, but it's rumored that something terrible occurred. <laughs> it it looks like Minecraft characters when you got them However, all pixelated like that. Why is my keyboard not freaking working? It's appeared. Look at no one knows what happened to the couple, but it's rumored that some. <laughs> it look like pixelated Minecraft characters. At least this one does, dude. That one doesn't, but this. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Something <laughs> terrible occurred. It was after their disappearance, however, that a family member shared surveillance footage from inside the couple's house. Yeah. This footage was taken from the couple's security cameras, and it shows things that occurred before they went missing. Overall, though, the footage is pretty creepy. Great. Take a look at these clips and see what you think. Uh. Bro, what? Get out of here with that, dude. Man. So they have a camera set up right in the hallway or what? That was freakishly Although slow. Creepy. It wasn't scary enough to deter someone from breaking inside. An anonymous individual named S had seen the footage and decided to check out the property for himself. What? No. This was a bad idea. No. He breaks into the property by entering through a window. On the no, floor. dude. He goes in and he. Bro, no. This reminds me of some like paranormal activity shit. Like little do you know, there's some like weird, crazy occult stuff going on, and some do it. I don't know, dude. But nah, bro, you ain't gonna catch me going in there. Immediately feels uneasy. This is what he caught. No, 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 He's going to freaking see someone or something. Or what? What the hell is that? 
What is that room for? What is that? Some kind of... What is that? Man, that... That thing right... No, 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 no. That thing right there probably turned into some kind of weird portal to hell and they got sucked through it. <laughs> it's like some straight movie shit, dude, I swear. Gonna see someone down the hallway. I'm, I'm tripping balls, dude. Okay, now. When and where is he gonna see something? Uh oh. Oh, what the? Okay. A shrine? Oh, boy. What is that? What happened to the video? Oh, he dropped it. Nah, bro. I'd be out of there real fast. Bro, that's so loud. Oh, uh, what's he gonna see? Oh, uh, then it stops. Oh, no, dude, no, no. <coughs> Was sweating. Oh my god. Bro, get out of there, dude. I'm telling you, it's some paranormal activity type shit. Mm mm. Nah, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro, comes running down. Oh. Is that a reflection of an eye or what? It was only after the mysterious knocking had stopped that the intruder looked to the side and saw what appeared to be a shadowy figure oh. peeping from down the hall. It seems to be observing him before creeping oh. away from sight. Not sure if he was just seeing things, he walks over to where the figure was seen. Why? But eerily finds nothing there. Now it wasn't until posting this video that viewers had noticed something odd about the figure. After being spotted by the intruder, it moves in such a way that seems very unnatural. It almost appears to be floating or even sliding away from view. Just like I mean, you can't really tell. Earlier, viewers find this video baffling, but there has yet to be more footage posted. Until then, we'll have to base our judgment on the evidence currently in hand. Nah, dude. Doubtless, this video is pretty spooky. For the full video and story on this mystery, you can check out the channel Fourth Wall, where other paranormal videos can be found. <sighs> it's creepy stuff, dude. The following video comes from William Sloan, who in 2013 caught footage of something pretty creepy. Before capturing this footage, it's going to be down the hallway. William had played it with the Ouija board ah, inside his house. There's your problem, the bro. It's always someone that plays with a damn Ouija board. Do people not learn? The craziest thing about this is they sell this in like Barnes and Noble and like bookstores and game stores. Like it's just some kind of fucking board game, dude. And it's not. You got to be careful with them shits. We all know this, dude. Uh, <clears throat> unless you just like straight up don't believe or whatever, then be my guest. But everyone knows you don't you don't fuck with Ouija boards, dog. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Reason for using the board wasn't just to play with it, 
but rather to ask questions to the ghost that is haunting his home. According to William, there have been strange happenings in his house and he wanted to find out who or what was responsible for these odd occurrences. Fortunately, it was through the Ouija board that he found out the name of the ghost. It calls itself James it's lying, and claims dude. to be responsible for the strange activity in his house. It's name ain't James. It's some kind of demon. I promise. I promise they lie. They're going to name themselves some kind of common human name. But they're liars. The devil is a deceiver. But then one night, while being in his living room, William <laughs> encounters the good old something pretty spooky. It's gonna start rocking. William sees his chair rocking back and forth and thinks that it might be James who's sitting on it. It was James, all right. Just rock it a little bit. Hey, Just a little. hey, hey, yo, Jamie! Hey, hey, Jamie! I know you can do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I encourage it. It's great. Y'all are going to become best friends. William is clearly unnerved, but it's the following video, which was taken a month later, that captures something really freaky. Mm. William is alone at home when the following happens. But I swear, if it's, no, if, if, if it's another hallway, if it's a freaking hallway ghost, I'm out, dude. Can't do the hallways. Dark hallways? Nah, dog. It's Okay, a few minutes ago, <laughs> I was sitting on the couch over there. Were you? And I was just watching TV and on Facebook as usual. And the daily life, bro. I don't know where Baxter is right there. TV and Facebook. Baxter was sitting next to me on the couch, and Hazel, this girl, was way back. Here. Should unzoom. There you in go. The hall. Okay. And all of a sudden, <laughs> these vertical blinds just they rattled by themselves, like somebody just walked into them. Um, they're shaking a little bit now, but it's because of. The heat event is adjacent, and they always come on. Get to it. I want to see something happen. Or Baxter. The know, cats aren't freaking it. out. And he moves them. But we're gonna try to get it to happen again. Look, bro. If the cats ain't freaking out, then James, if you're here, move those blinds again because that was really good. You can't and do it where the heating vent is at. Unless the blinds are like, I'm not going to believe it. <laughs> I don't know. I think that was the event. It wasn't like what it did before. Yeah, I move more than that for me to believe it. Come on. No! Oh! Oh. <laughs> Just like that, bro. <laughs> oh! Hell no, dog. I'm dipping out of that house real fast, bro. I'm grabbing the cats and we moving. Like most viewers, William doesn't know what to make of this, except that it might have been James. It is still unknown as to what exactly caused this. Is it the case that James, the supposed ghost, is haunting William's house? Yeah, or James, the demon, be? whose name isn't James, is definitely haunting the house, for sure. For sure. be another explanation for this. Once again, what do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts down below. I think I'd be super gone, bro. You're not gonna catch me chilling in there any longer. Got one more? If you caught something creepy on camera. Number one. This next video comes from Nathan Hughes, who not only enjoys <laughs> being an actor and a photographer, ah, but also a dog owner. One day, while sitting at home, Nathan... I don't know the words. <laughs> ...then notices one of his dogs acting strange. Molly, who was resting on the couch, began to tremble as though she were uh -huh. seeing something incredibly frightening. Being a lover of dogs, he was deeply unsettled by Molly's behavior. 
If only he had known what she was seeing. This is the video he took. Molly, do you want a biscuit? Oh, no. Dog don't want a biscuit, bro. Molly. She's scared. What's wrong? What are you looking at? What is it? Hmm. The dog is scared, Molly? bro. What is it? Are you okay? No, she ain't okay. What is it? Go over there, dude. Eat what are you biscuit. doing? No, she don't want a biscuit, dude. No. This guy's kind of annoying the shit out of me. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Go look. She's looking in that room. Go look. What are you doing? Get your biscuit. She doesn't right. want the biscuit, bro. The scared ass dog ain't gonna want a biscuit. Get your biscuit though. Bro, what do you where do you live? She appears to be seeing something that Nathan can't. Unlike most dogs who either growl or bark at something that doesn't appear to be there, Molly trembles in fear is very unsettling. Oh, now, shit. it could be the case that she's having a seizure, but according to that's with me. I don't know. That's creepy. But my camera's about to stop recording. Battery's low, and it's almost on the 30-minute mark. But, yeah, um, if you guys believe in ghosts, what do you think about all this? Let me know in the comments. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll have another one coming soon. Much love, you guys. I appreciate you being here. I'll see you next time.